Mike Moore Media. I'm talking to Eddie McGee, Executive Director of the Stokes County Arts Council. Hey, Eddie, how you doing? Good morning, Mike Moore. We're doing great here in Stokes County. How about yourself? Uh, doing fine here. Good to have McGee and Moore back together. We've missed a couple of times here recently. <laughs> so bring us up to date. I mean, there's a lot going on right now. Mike, it's it's been a very busy summer, and the, the summer's going by very quickly. But uh, we're hanging on as best we can. Um, we just wrapped up four performances of uh, our community theater, summer community theater with Brother Wolf, and uh, locally produced. Uh, just a fabulous weekend, and and we don't we don't uh, slow down for long. So uh, uh, this coming weekend, we've got. Uh, uh, a concert on Sunday, the 31st, by Colin Cutler and uh, uh, Mason Winfrey. So that's going to be that's, that's a part of our Three Sisters stage series that just continues. Um, our current gallery exhibit, Bill Nagel, just an incredible exhibit, Mike. Uh, if you like waterfalls, which we do have several of those here in Stokes County, mm-hmm. Bill has really captured waterfalls. This is a uh, oil painting and also photography, and uh, it's done very well. We've sold quite a few pieces of Bill's exhibit. That's here in the Apple Gallery, and that will be here, I think, till around mid-September. And, again, if you like waterfalls, the Apple Gallery is the place to be. Sure, okay. Um, uh, and then we get into August. So after this weekend, we just we just keep on rolling with August and – John Cowan, bass player for the Divi Brothers, he's teaming up with Andrea Zahn, who is on tour with James Taylor. They're coming here on August the 7th with the Herculeons, which is a tribute to Leon Russell. Uh, we worked it out between their schedules and their tours, and so they'll be here August 7th. This is going to be fantastic. John Cowan's an a annual visitor here mm-hmm. to the Stokes County Arts Council, so we're excited to have his return. Uh, the following weekend, um, August 13th and 14th, it's an Elvis weekend. So it will be 45 years ago uh, in August that the King Elvis Presley passed away. And so we will be, uh, we've created a tribute weekend with uh, Taylor Vaden, uh, one of our local artists, musicians, who's uh, just got an r- incredible tribute to Elvis. And we've got conversations about Elvis on the 13th with some memorabilia, and that's a free program. The 14th is the King's Music. This is Taylor Vaden's tribute to Elvis and his gospel music. That's on the 14th at 3 p.m. So Elvis weekend, uh, August 13th and 14th. We roll on, buddy. Uh, August the 20th, Steve Hartso, singer-songwriter, uh, lives in the Raleigh area. He's from Stokes County. Uh, he was out on the West Coast for a while playing in bands. Now he's in Raleigh. He's coming back on the 20th. Solo show. Great singer-songwriter. Uh, August 27th. Uh, and I know I'm, I'm hardly even taking time to breathe for all this, Mike. I hope you're impressed. I, I am. I'm very impressed, always. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. Keep we, going. <laughs> August 27th. We are all up at Hanging Rock State Park at the uh, Historic Bath House. Uh, we had a show there in May. We're back there in August. This is Old Ceremony with special guest Laurel and Dossett, who's the Grammy winner, and she's on our Stokes County Arts Council board. And, uh, again, this will be at the historic bathhouse. Just uh, a wonderful evening. Uh, Town Fork uh, Mobile Kitchen food truck will be there. We'll have beer and wine, a great concert at the bathhouse. Beautiful lake setting, a mountain setting, Hanging Rock State Park. August 27th, and then Hmm. we start uh, September. September 1st, we have Marshall Sharloff and his one-man tribute to Prince. It's called Purple Piano. Uh, This show is, uh, I mean, it's it's just a featured one-man show. He plays a lot in Vegas, um, but just a a wonderful one-man tribute to Prince. Purple Piano, who'll be playing all the hits. Uh, and when Prince was touring, for those of us that were able to actually witness a Prince performance, he would take time to go on piano and play some some of his songs. And this is Marshall doing that as well. That's September 1st. No doubt that will be a sellout. So if, I think we have tickets still available now. 
And so we're just encouraging people, get your tickets in advance. Uh, get your tickets to a lot of these shows in advance if you can. Mm-hmm. And um, and then, you know, good gracious, September we have the Stoke Stomp. We have Reach the Peaks. October, I think, is Rocktoberfest. We just got a lot of things happening. And, uh, wow. Wow. You know, <laughs> wow. We don't well, really have time right. to rest. <laughs> yeah. Nothing, nothing. But we're having a fun summer, Mike. We really are. I know you are. Nothing ever stops. Eh? You just keep rolling right along. I'm on your Facebook page, so I'm trying to follow you here, and I, I think I've kept up fairly well. Uh, but if people want to uh, want to see exactly what's coming, uh, all they need to do is uh, go to Stokes County Arts Council on Facebook, uh, stokesarts.org, another way to connect and uh and wow wow indeed so thank you for giving us an yeah. overview of what's on the calendar absolutely glad to do it and just uh we encourage people if you know if it's not stokes arts rockingham arts just get involved in your local arts organization and kind of find that that uh, everyone has a artistic talent and find it whether it's music whether it's visual arts dance it could be anything, culinary arts, literary arts, write a book, write a song, cook a meal, but use that creative process and, and just enjoy the arts. And uh, uh, we're here for you, and, and North Carolina is blessed with a lot of just great cultural arts organizations. So mm-hmm. support that creative process. That's, that's what it's all about. And, and as always, Mike Moore, you're the best at really promoting you know, what we do and a lot of other local organizations. So thanks for being the glue for our communities, buddy. Thank you for your kind words, and thank you for making it happen for us to get to all of the great things you're doing at Stokes County Arts Council. Eddie, good to talk to you. Mm. Have a good week. Good talking to you, Mike. Okay. You too, buddy. We'll and catch up soon. Ju- mm. Just just a P.S. Tell our friend Mason uh, when you <laughs> see him this weekend that I said hello. I will do that. Okay. Absolutely. He's very well known in these parts in the media area. I know, and he did a radio program <laughs> with us way back before he was well known. So, uh, yeah, we, we remember him when. <laughs> I, will, I will see him on Sunday, and I will pass it along. All right. good to hear, he'll be glad to hear that. All right. Thanks, Eddie. You take care. Keep up the good work, Mike. Right, you, you too, buddy. Bye. Bye-bye. Our friend Eddie McGee, Executive Director of the Stokes County Arts Council, as you just heard, a lot of excitement, lots of things on the calendar there. So please go to their Facebook page and uh, find out what's happening and how you can get involved. That Stokes County Arts Council.